Welcome everyone to another episode in my Star Wars series. So today, instead of playing on my Jacinto account, which is my Sith one, I'm going to be doing some um, filming on this one, which is, I think, called Arden. I'm not sure. It's got one of these random name generators, and that's what came up, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I did do a video of me creating it, but unfortunately it didn't come out very well, and I didn't want to just upload a load of crap, so I decided I'll delete that one. And I will just run it from wherever I got to in the last video, which is at this point here. So this is now the Jedi, so the light side of the Force, which is a really fun one. Um, the planet after this one that I'm at, which is Tython, I think, uh, yes, Tython, is Coruscant. And I've never got past Coruscant because I absolutely hate the planet. And so whenever I don't like a planet, I always don't do very well on it because it's not very fun to play on. But anyway... So here we are, and so we're at the Jedi Temple now, or at least this planet's Jedi Temple. I'm not sure how many of the guns are going to be I heard you begun your trials. Master Yuan says you show great promise. No doubt you are pleased to have come this far. But some Jedi have the ability to do more, help more people. Interested? What's the I think I want this guy to tell us more about this, actually. A war is brewing in the greater galaxy. The Sith Empire plots against the Republic, and the Republic looks to the Jedi for aid. But not all who train to become Jedi are skilled combatants and leaders. Many are scholars, diplomats, strategists, and scientists. Which is why we've created a simulation to test Jedi and Padawans and certify them to lead Republic troops. You want me to participate in this simulation? That's what I'm asking. The droids here in the yard have been programmed to act according to Imperial military protocols and battlefield tactics. Demonstrate your proficiency at defeating these droids, and you will be on your way to qualifying to lead Republic troops into battle. Can you do it? Of course I'll do it. Excellent. I reckon I'm up for this the one. So, of training looks droids like are ready for fighting you. some Get droids. It should be good fun. So I've got different sets to my Sith one, obviously, and as, as I said earlier, as you go up, on my last videos, you go up more levels, you unlock more stuff. So I'm fairly low down at the moment, so I won't have much, but let's get this started. So I am um, 2,700 experience away from level. Sorry, I still think I was on my Sith So it's pretty cool some of the moves you can get on this guy. This is My Sith account is like one of the tanks that goes in, but this guy is a. Um, he's one of those people that use all the forces and stuff. Which is always quite cool to use. Um, I'm not very good at him at the moment. I do need to get used to him. I've just come off literally playing my Sith account, so I'm still I'm in the impressed. frame of mind of doing all that sort of, all that sort of stuff. So let's hop inside the Jedi Temple and see what we need to do. Oh, looks like someone else needs my help actually, so I will speak to her as well. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Skipping through it all. And that sounds like a good response. Oh. She's taking me inside as well. Oh, can't resist that. What is going on there? So, where am I going first? Wisdom of the Elders. I think I will go upstairs first, actually. It should be good fun. And I have been here before, obviously. It's quite a nice place. I might do a Minecraft build of it one day. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, let's go find this person I need to speak to. Now where am I going? Am I speaking to you? I think I'm speaking to him. There we go, quest done. That's nice and quick. See this is why whenever you uh whenever you're doing missions, always try to pick up as many side quests as possible because it's always good to do them and sometimes they work out a happy coincidence and they go to the same spot you roughly need to go to, which is always nice. So let's head on into this lady's office, Master Yuan Pa, and see what she has to say for herself. Speak. There isn't. It's out of my hands, Kaizen. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaizen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. It's an honor to meet you. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. 
I wanted you to meet before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. Sure. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. I was glad to help, Mercer. I've identified the holo projector that was stolen. It contained a, a hologram of Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. This Rajivari's betrayal paved the way for the Sith. Rajivari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. Selling an ancient hollow projector could feed those villagers for months. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the hollow projector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'leks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. Once the villagers understand the situation, I'm sure we can reach an accord. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Well, thank you very much for the advice. Oh, I will head off. So that one is better than the one I've got on at the moment. So let's change our arms around. Oh. It's a bit boring, but might as well stick with it. So, let's head on out to this village we got to go to. It didn't sound too good, them being all these illegal guys, but I'm sure I can help them nonetheless. I, I do quite like this uh, planet, though. It is, a good, it is a good planet to go on, but as I said, it is the very first one. But it's got a huge area to explore, like most of the planets, actually. And it's fairly easy to explore as well, which is probably why I like it so much. Yeah, it's a nice one. This is another player, just a Jedi Knight. Oh, he's level 10 as well. I don't know why he's speaking to him. But anyway, uh, there's all these different players. Um, as I touched on in the last one, the amount of social stuff you can do on here is unbelievable. Let me just unlock this one over here. Before you are able to fast travel anywhere, the first thing you've got to do is unlock each station. So you actually have to run there first, unlock it, and then you'll be able to fast travel. Looks like all these guys are having a little lesson over there, which is quite cool. So here we go. This does actually look like some areas I have built before on Minecraft, but I haven't actually built anything specifically like this. We've got a fair few. Uh, jobs going on at the moment, and I may base some of my builds around it because I do like this area quite a lot. Don't like this little sword I got though. I'd much rather a lightsaber, but it takes ages to get a lightsaber on your very first planet. And then once you've got it, you don't actually notice you've got one, which is a bit annoying, but you sort of get used to it. There's another one up here. My spells are spells, as if it's a uh, Harry Potter or whatever. Well, my force stuff is a bit limited at the moment, annoyingly. I'd much rather have a fair few more. So here's that illegal village we're at. I'm sure I'll do my best to help them out, but... Here we go. So now I can fast travel, and now I can speed travel. So your fast travel stuff is in your log, and it's just under general, and there's your quick travel. So let's pick up all these missions. And go to our. You're too late, Jedi. My go to our um, mission objective. Here we go. So what I reckon I'm going to do is that mission over there, because I know that mission over there is a nice quick one. Let me skip right. through this. So you can just hit space and it skips through all these silly little things. Ah, oh, I want to do the good one. There we go. Fifty good points. Against. Okay. So as I um, did say in the one before that, the video that I did after uh, before this one, that if you do good stuff, you get good stuff. Like, some lightsabers require good two to use and so on and so forth. Here we go, so... Like the first signal. This is quite a fun one. I know there's a level 3 enemy at the end, but... Um, Level three and level five. Uh, sorry, level five enemy. But level three and level five don't really make much difference between the two. It's when you start getting higher, like level thirty and level thirty-one, that makes the real difference. Despite the fact I've never actually had to account this level thirty. He's almost level thirty. It's twenty thousand away, but 
um, you'll get there soon. So I'm going to do, be doing a fair few videos on different channels. Um, there's only two channels I'll be switching between. It'll be this one and my um, one that I share with a few other people that was created by them. It's um, with MC Scorpion Gaming, which is also our Minecraft channel, which is always good fun. So if you check that out, I'll be doing a few videos over there for this as well. I'm not sure how I'll how I'll sort of swap them all around. It's a green light. That means we've got something nice. So there we go. A little bit of credits. I'll take all the crap that comes with it because I can sell it on. I don't know why anyone would want to buy it, but there you go. Let's run in between them all and not get tight. There we go. Light all these little fires. I'm not too sure why I'm doing it. I probably should have listened to the conversation, but there you go. That's another three minutes of my life that I would have wasted when I could have just skipped it like I did. Right, I want to avoid them. Because those guys look pretty dangerous, actually. I don't really feel up to fighting them at the moment. So the thousand steps, I'm guessing this is a thousand steps. So is that kilometer? No, kilometer is a thousand meters, isn't it, actually? I don't know what a thousand steps would be. A thousand feet or something? No. Quite far, anyway. It feels far. There we go. Skip them all. Right, it looks like I will probably actually have to attack these chubs, so. Let's just. Might as well. Now, this one, this starting planet compared to the Sith starting planet is much nicer because it's a lot easier to get through. The enemies are not as difficult, I find. I don't actually think there's a heroic one on this either. I don't think there is. I've never seen one anyway, and if that I have done a heroic one, I haven't noticed, so it hasn't been as hard as the other one. Sometimes you get heroic quests, and the heroic ones need you to have other players with you. It doesn't need you, it's recommended. There's the big guy. It's recommended that you have other players with you, like, for example, um, if it says 2+, plus, it wants you to have 2 or more players. If it says 2, you want to have 2. If it says 4, it wants you to have 4. And usually it's the ones that are heroic for... Oh, what happened there? It's the ones that are heroic for that are pretty hard. But then you get Ox ones, which are even harder. But here we go. Let's see what she's got to give me, because I want my reward. You perform the right of the pilgrims well, Jedi. I saw the signal fires as you climbed the path. Very few of your kind make it this far. Whoa. I am Kalovish, first matriarch and reader of the ancient texts. I led our people to this planet. And I welcome you. Well, thank you for the welcome. Her eyes are pretty cool, actually. It's a privilege to meet you, Matriarch. And it is my privilege to meet a Jedi who accepts our ways. Even our own kind, the other Twi'leks. They mocked us and denied the authority of the Matriarchs. That is why we came here. Now you've completed the ritual, and you are friend to the Pilgrims. You share our burdens, and you share our strength. What the hell is that ick? I think I'm gonna go for a different one. Today. I am quite honored. Take these gifts. We have very little, as you must know. But you are Jedi. You share our world, and you face a difficult future. Is there anything I can do to help? Remember us, and remember our ways. Go to your duties now, and as we part, Know that my blessings go with you. So she's given me some uh, pretty boring gloves. Not gonna lie, I don't think I like them, but there you go. Level four. Wow. So I'll just head back down here and kill this guy. Oh, well, quite close to leveling up again. It's always pretty nice. Right, where is he? Come on, man. Chuck some rocks at you. Oh dear, he's gone. There you go, have some pebbles in your face. Another big rock. He's winning. Oh, I know. This is good. Oh, damn, I was hitting the monkey. Seems so. Oh, actually, no, okay. Now he's gone. Yeah, 
No, I've got him. 382 experience, which is pretty good. Oh, there we go, some nice little wraps. Yes, please, I'm going to put them, so there they are. Let me unify, so you can unify all your colours and what it'll do is it'll automatically make them. Um, I don't know what that's on for. It'll automatically make them all sort of roughly the same boring brown colour that they are at the moment. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I don't know what I'll be doing in the next video, but that will be over on the MC Scorpion Gaming YouTube account. So if you want to head over there and subscribe and do whatever you want to do, and um, I'll either up do loads of stuff on this and then update it, or go on my Sith account, or I'm not sure. What oh, actually, no. Dishonored is coming out tomorrow. So what I'll be doing is I'll be doing another um, a Dishonored video on my channel. And then... Oh, sorry, I'm stretching at the moment because it's um, 9.29 a.m. Uh, so I'll be doing some Dishonored stuff on my channel, but also some Dishonored stuff on the Scorpion Gaming one. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.